I only said you're not Tomb Raider anymore. I'm not Tomb Raider. I'm a free woman. <laughs> but you're a man. God, I don't care. Whilst the Tomb Raider series was much improved when Crystal Dynamics started developing the games, there were still some core problems made all the more obvious thanks to a certain Nathan Drake. This is so not cool. It's of little surprise then that Miss Croft has shed the Tomb Raider moniker and the third person perspective in Guardian of Light. Core gameplay stays rather familiar, with Lara running, gunning, exploring and grappling to near reckless abandon. But the new isometric perspective freshens things up, and the new co-op element, both local and online, helps immensely. You don't even have to play co-op to get the most out of this, as the single player mode is equally accomplished and boasts intelligent game design. There are unlockable items depending on how well you do in a level, which keeps you coming back for more, and a batch of downloadable content, all optional extras, add more reasons to come back. Controls are nice and easy to get to grips with, with the placement of mines a particularly entertaining distraction. So the story is a tired old cliché, but in every other respect it's the sort of Lara Croft game we've been asking for since the original. 